Hey everybody, welcome back again. This is Matthew. And I wanted to talk about the differences between language, dialect, and accent. So, after a few videos of talking about the basics of linguistics and prescriptivism and whatnot, I think it's time to talk more about what exactly language is, which is a little bit more complicated than you'd think. Language is something that everybody has exposed to them, if, as long as you're able to hear. You have exposure to languages, whether it's English or Chinese or whatever it may be. So in one of the past videos, we discussed what linguistics is, which is the scientific study of language. Okay, so what exactly is language then? Is it just something that we talk? Is it something that we're able to recognize? You know that somebody's speaking English and you know that somebody's speaking something that isn't it, but then what exactly marks the difference between a different language and a different dialect. These are questions that are not exactly easy answered, but a lot of people have tried for, for a while. So I'm going to give you my take on that as well. So what exactly is ling language then? One way of understanding language is as a complex system for communication. In simple terms, because communication then becomes tricky because animals can communicate. You know, these have different types of dances depending on if there is uh, pollinated flowers or if there's a threat, so on and so forth. Dogs can bark and somehow demonstrate basic understanding. And even primates, this most uh, prominently believe the chimpanzees, have been able to learn sign language, which is a language in of itself. But it's mostly just parroting or mimicking certain things. And it's basic. It's not able to communicate new ideas necessarily, which is another big element of language. Something actually that a great uh, series called uh, Vsauce made is the ability to ask questions. Humans constantly want to, to grow and to, to know more and to learn more. And you do that through asking questions. And other animals that have, that have shown some capability of producing uh, language, whether it was birds or primates have not been able to ask questions independently. Maybe they're able to respond to certain basic stimuli and questions, but they're not able to produce questions of their own. So that's something interesting to consider. But going back to the topic, language as a system has what we called, in the, one of the other videos I mentioned, the grammar, the phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax and semantics. So pretty much all of the basic structures that form it, you know, what are the sounds of the language? How are those sounds combined to produce words? What do the parts of the words add, whether it's a prefix or a suffix? How can you put them together? How can you put words combined together to make something that means something in that language? That is essentially the components of a language, understanding that as the grammar. So then a dialect would be basically just some variation of that language. But that becomes tricky then because you have languages that are distinct from one another but related to each other. So then you have this idea of mutual intelligibility, that dialects exist within a spectrum of a language. So being able to understand each other makes it a language. So for instance, you have for argument's sake, English, with different dialects within the United Kingdom, different dialects within North America, and throughout the world. Those are considered dialects because, A, they share certain key features that are more or less in common, but then certain things that do vary. But they're able to understand the basic meaning and intention of what the person wants to say. However, you could also argue that makes a language is very political in nature. Language is oftentimes very arbitrary. Language is usually very logical, but the speakers are not. I like that. I think that really captures a lot about language and, and how we use language in, to, in different ways. So going back to what is the difference between a language and a dialect, you have what are called what is called Chinese. Within China, they speak many different languages that are not necessarily related to each other. That if one person speaks, another person cannot understand a word that they're saying. So they're not dialects 
in the sense that they are the same language with slight variation or even large variation, but they're completely different. But because China, in part because of its uh, politics of being a, a communistic nation, but also just wanting to unite everyone to create some form of Chinese identity, he phrased, the Chinese government calls them dialects of Chinese. On the other hand, you have a different situation, almost the opposite, with languages such as Swedish, Norwegian, and Danish, which and Icelandic even, which ultimately have very, very high levels of understanding one another. With minor, minor exceptions, they're more or less the same language, but because different countries emerged and wanted to maintain status, no, we are not Swedish, we're Norwegian, they created this designation as a separate language, even though they technically, if you're looking at a mutual intelligibility point of view, they're pretty much just dialects of the same language. Which brings us to a very famous quote, which is that a language is just a dialect with an army and navy, meaning it's whatever group of people that came into power that said that this is going to be the language, that's what became the language, whether it's a dialect in a specific region or otherwise. Which brings me to the point of what exactly is a dialect and what exactly is an accent? Um, within dialectology, you study that there's different ways of categorizing dialects. Um, most people understand a dialect to be what linguistics designates as a geolect. Um, pretty much is a dialect based on geography. That's the most common way. So if you remember, I did the accent tag, which uh, I'm, I was born in Rhode Island. I lived in uh, New Jersey for most of my life, in addition to traveling. That creates um, a ge geographically based dialect, geolect. So New England, they speak a certain way. Within New England, each state speaks a different way. Within each state, different cities speak a different way, so on and so forth. That are Those are geolects, dialects based on geography. But then you can also have sociolect, you know, dialect based on sociological information, whether it's based on gender, whether it's based on age, whether it's based on um, economic background, all different factors that create different dialects. Um, and a dialect is not necessarily a bad thing because everyone has a dialect. You cannot be a native speaker of a language and not have a dialect. It doesn't exist. There's no way. There's going to always be specific traits that you have based on whether your parents were from a specific country, whether you were raised in a specific area, whether you had exposure to other speakers. That's what creates a uh, different dialect. So even though you may not realize or think that you speak with a dialect, the, the fact is that you do. So what exactly is an accent then? Uh, a lot of people will use accent and dialect sometimes interchangeably, and it's come to my attention that in certain parts of the world, for instance in Britain, actually they use accents even within the scientific community as a synonym. Uh, in America at least, they're not, the, they're not one and the same. And accent really is used to designate just pronunciation uh, differences. So phonetic and phonological uh, variation creates an accent. So that famous foreign accent or southern drawl or, you know, brogues, Irish brogue or Scottish brogue, um, those are based on phonetic uh, variation, whether it's uh, based on the actual sounds that they make, the intonation, the pitch, stress, those are all, uh, those all contribute to accent. In the accent tag that I did, there was also a component, in addition to just pronouncing the specific words, there were questions on lexical inventory, aka colloquialisms or words or phrases that different regions use. That forms more as a dialect. That's not, even though they called, they included that within the accent tag, that's not necessarily an accent as much as showing lexical, aka word, uh, information based on how that dialect or region uh, speaks. So in other words, you can summarize today as saying that a language is not something that's concrete. Languages are always changing. There are so many 
languages out in the world that are constantly evolving over time because of contacts with other languages, whether it's English because of its prominence within business and, and international relations, whether it's any of the major Indo-European languages, Spanish, French, German, uh, because of their prominence, music, you know, people moving from different countries, languages constantly shape over time due to other external influences. So there's no true way of guaranteeing or labeling what makes a language, you know, there's no X factor, so to speak. There are the basics, the grammar that makes a language, but then there's there can be certain variation that as long as you're able to more or less understand, that forms a dialectal continuum. Again, that's very politically charged, and it depends on what the, the ones in power want to designate as a language, whether it's, um, you know, the Chinese languages being considered dialects, even though they don't really have that much to do with one another, whether it's foreign nations wanting to have their own sovereignty and declaring themselves foreign languages, even though they share much in common. Um, so the, the, that line, that, there's a very fine line between it. And dialects are formed mostly because of distance, because of separation, geographical uh, diversity, but then, you know, contact, uh, languages and contact just create lots of opportunities for growth and evolution. And then accent is mostly just um, dialectal, phonological different, uh, um, differences. So that pretty much sums it up. I hope this was a brief but informative uh, outlook into language versus dialect versus accent. And I look forward to hearing some input. Please subscribe, like my videos. If you have any other comments, leave them down below, questions. I'll be more than glad to, to answer them. So, ah!